Good afternoon and welcome to the next short video in the Ahargana series. In the last episode, we had seen a geometric model of the geocentric model of the solar system. And the geometric model was constructed using GeoGebra. And I had said that uh, that model is constructed using parameters taken from the Surya Siddhanta. In this tutorial, I will show you in greater detail what those parameters are and how those parameters are used to construct this model. Now, first of all, I have to show you that GeoGebra, which you see in front of you, this is the model I showed you the last time, but this comes with a built-in spreadsheet. Now, the model itself, you know what it does. I am able to animate this model. I can increase the speed, make it even faster, stop the animation, reset everything, etc., etc. So, this is the, the graphic part of it. But the spreadsheet part of it is here. This is a built-in spreadsheet of GeoGebra. And the parameters are all here. A whole bunch of numbers you are seeing here. Of all these numbers, this column, this set of numbers you are seeing has been taken from the Surya Siddhanta. And this one number here in the second column. Now you can clearly see that these are all nothing but uh, this is the Nakshatra Mandala, this is Surya, this is Chandra, Luna, then Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and these are the revolutions of Surya, Chandra, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn according to Surya Siddhanta. And this is the revolutions of the Nakshatra Mandala according to Surya Siddhanta, but the types of revolution are different. So I am classifying one as risings and the other as revolutions. But now to make things clearer, I will actually show you a page from the Surya Siddhanta translation that I am using. And these are the verses, shloka number 29 to 34 of the very first chapter of the Surya Siddhanta are laying out these parameters. So if you look at the first shloka here, in an age that is a yuga, in this case it is actually a chatur yuga or a maha yuga as it is known as. The revolutions of Sun, Mercury and Venus and the conjunctions the Shigra of Mars, Saturn and Jupiter moving eastwards are 4,320,000. Now of course it's quite complex as to why all of them have been clubbed together here and what is this Shigra, what does it mean, I am not going into those details. What you need to know essentially here is the revolutions of the Sun are 4,320,000 and that's what I put here, 4,320,000. So the Sun makes these many revolutions in a Mahayuga. This is how the Surya Siddhanta specifies astronomical parameters. And the revolutions he is talking about here is a revolution across the Rashi Mandala. That is what we know as a year, a solar year. So effectively what is this is saying is that in a Mahayuga there are 4,320,000 solar years. Now you come to the next one. Of the moon, the revolutions of the moon is 57,753,336. And that's what I put here. 57,753,336. The revolutions of Mars, 2,396,832. And that's here. 2,296,832 of Mercury's conjunction Shigra 17,937,060 and that is here 17,937,060 of Jupiter revolutions of Jupiter 364,220 and that is here 364,220 Revolutions of Venus conjunction Shigra are 7,022,376 
and that is here 7,022,376 and finally of Saturn 146,468 146,568 excuse me so these are all the revolutions of the various planets across the Rashi Mandala and finally comes the asterisms of the asterisms 1 billion 582,237,828 and that I have put here because the Nakshatra Mandala cannot, the Rashi Mandala cannot traverse itself, right? So this is actually the rising and setting, the very fast rotations I show in the counterclockwise direction in my animations. That is the number here, 1,582,237,828. So this entire column plus this cell are all coming from these verses of the Surya Siddhanta, verse number 29 to 34 of the very first section. All the other numbers are calculated from these numbers. For example, this is a simple formula D3 minus C4. And this is another simple formula D4 divided by C4 computations and calculations but in effect what this column with this row means is in a Mahayuga there are so many solar years and there are so many solar days and hence in one solar year there are 365.2587 solar days and that you know is accurate you also know for the moon one revolution is 27.3 solar days this we have seen in Ahargana itself, not Amavasya to Amavasya, but from a starting point back to the starting point. So similarly, the other sidereal revolutions you can check for each one of the planets using Wikipedia or any other source that you have, and you will find these numbers which are calculated using Surya Siddhanta's parameters are extremely accurate even when compared to their modern values. And the Surya Siddhanta, as you know, was written 1600 years back. So this is what I wanted to convey here, that this model has been constructed using parameters given in the Surya Siddhanta and everything else has been, else has been calculated and these values here, rising per revolution, that's exactly what I'm showing here in this column. Correct, for example, the Saturn, <coughs> 10,765.77, there it is, 10,765.77, but this in turn is calculated from the other values. For example, D4 and D4 is coming from here and C10 is coming straight from Surya Siddhanta because this is C10. So with this, I hope you have got a glimpse of how the concrete numbers and parameters coming from the Surya Siddhanta are being modeled using a modern day geometric software called GeoGebra to produce extremely accurate results even today. So with that, I will close this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.